everyone. Today, I want to talk about an often overlooked aspect of our interactions and relationships, the power of self-reflection. It's about asking ourselves, when I feel mistreated, could I also be contributing to the situation in some way? This isn't about self-blame, but about understanding our role and how we can foster healthier, more positive interactions. Every relationship, whether personal or professional, is a two-way street. It involves give and take, understanding and compromise. When conflicts arise or when we feel undervalued or mistreated, it's easy to point fingers and place the blame solely on others. However, true growth and harmony come from also looking inward, examining our actions and asking ourselves if there's something we could do differently. Self-reflection is a powerful tool. It allows us to see if perhaps our words, our actions, or even our non-verbal communication could be misunderstood or hurtful to others. It helps us identify patterns in our behavior that may contribute to recurring issues. This introspection isn't about guilt. It's about empowerment. It's realizing that we have the power to change the dynamics of our relationships by changing how we approach them. Consider the way you communicate. Are you open and clear about your feelings and expectations? Or could there be room for misunderstanding? Reflect on how you react to stress or disagreement. Are you quick to anger? Or do you shut down, leaving issues unresolved and festering? This journey of self-reflection also involves acknowledging and working on our triggers and insecurities. Many times, how we interpret others' actions is filtered through our own fears and past experiences. By understanding this, we can begin to see situations more objectively and respond more constructively. Embracing self-reflection and personal accountability doesn't mean you are at fault for all the problems in your relationships. It means recognizing your power to influence and improve the quality of your interactions. It's about building bridges, not walls. So I encourage you to take time for self-reflection. View it as a gift to yourself and your relationships. By understanding our contributions to conflicts, we can take steps to create more meaningful, respectful, and fulfilling connections with those around us. Remember, change starts with us. Don't be discouraged, be encouraged. What you do? Did you shine it? Did you shine it? Did you shine it? What you do? Did you shine it?